Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Natty. Nice to meet you. Today we are propagating. I have a bunch of plants in front of me that I'll be propagating today. Some of them are already cut, like my Monstera here. I'm gonna make three propagations from my Monstera. This is coming from my big pot. I'm gonna put the link of, I, mean, I wanna say the latest update for that pot up here. I mean, it might not even be the latest cause it was like, I think it was a year ago or sometime last year. But if you can see, I have super long aerial root here. This one have been, oh, this one is actually kind of, rotten yeah we don't like that we hate that so the root have been hanging out here in this glass jar but i i wanted to change the jar because obviously it's not gonna fit so what we're gonna do today we are gonna propagate a monstera i have my marble queen pothos and i also have my regular golden pothos so this is the exact same one that I took cuttings from this plant. I'm also gonna put the link up here for that video because I did a, a whole video on that. And then the other plant that we're gonna be propagating is my pride and joy. My Escondatus Pictus Exotica. So yeah, we have a lot to do today. I also, I forgot that I got the rooting powder, finally got the rooting powder. <laughs> I don't know why I've been waiting for so long to get it, but I finally did. So love that for me and for my plants. <laughs> Anyways, I am gonna um, just put aside <laughs> this rotten root. I need a napkin. So after I'm done wiping my blade or my little shear, I can wipe them or yeah i can just disinfect them so i'll be doing like a step-by-step -step of on how to do this we can talk about why propagating is an important part of houseplant care so i guess the perfect example for this would be my skindapsis pictus as you can see the root is actually amazing super healthy it's just yeah bountiful but I don't have a lot of growth. Like I only have these two growth and, th and this one is super, super long. Somehow this one is not catching up and I'm actually losing some leaf like this one over here. I don't know if that's, no, that's not a leaf at all actually. It was, I don't know why, like it skipped a node and this one also kind of skipped a node. Part of the reason why you wanna propagate is so you can promote growth. So for this one, I'm actually gonna be cutting a bunch from here. It's gonna be a little bit insane because like I said, this one is my pride and joy. I'm kind of scared, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna cut over there. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be so short. I'm actually gonna cut this other leaf as well, just so they're even, you know? See, now they're a little bit more even. I know it's like super short, but it's okay. You'll be okay, baby. Yeah, you'll be fine, oh my gosh. I'm kind of sad that I have to cut those ones, but we're promoting healthy growth, right? <laughs> okay, so I think that should be good. We're gonna dip it in the rooting powder. But yeah, anyway, so um, I have like three reasons for why I propagate. One is to promote um, growth, obviously. And two, is if I want to make my plants fuller, kind of like what I did with my pothos here. I did soil propagation on that one and it was just, I don't know. I, I, I didn't think it was growing as fast. Um, I didn't think it was doing great actually. Um, yeah, I mean, it started to look kind of full, but it did take a little bit for it to actually grow like that. So I never really tried this rooting hormone. This is my first time trying the rooting hormone. Before that, I just sort of snip, 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 and 
put them in water. My favorite propagation method is water. Although, although I have been trying different methods, I might talk about that right now, but I might also not. I might make a separate video for that, but you know what? No, I'll just talk about it right now. <laughs> Soil, water, like a, and um, sphagnum. So with different plants, obviously it has like different results. So for my Calicia repins, it was my fault. I moved stuff around and then I put my Calicia repins outside on my dresser, forgetting that it was living and it was thriving in the cabinet. So it was humid. My dresser is not humid or the area near my dresser is not humid at all. On top of that, it does get the, the draft from the AC and the heater and yeah, just wind drafts. So I put my Calicia repins there and it, I noticed it started dying. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. And there's a bunch of like crispy leaves on the bottom and I was like, ah! But it was also, it looked thriving, but on the inside it was breaking down. Kind of like me. Right now, you know, I look okay from the outside, but on the inside I'm breaking down. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really kidding, but I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I decided I'm just gonna work on this. I'm just gonna take out like all the dead leaves, you know, deal with this right now rather than later. And then, you know, if I don't deal with it now, I'm risking my plants dying completely. So I start working on it. And next thing I know, it's actually all the way down. Like when I was pulling on the dead leaves, I pulled the whole thing off of the soil. And I was like, what did I do? So I was like freaking out. Um, but because like I said, on the top, it looks like it's healthy. It was looking great. So that night I decided I'm just gonna propagate this, but I'm gonna do three propagation or three methods of propagation. I did, I did sphagnum moss, LECA, and soil. Surprisingly, the one in LECA is not doing the greatest. The one that's super thriving right now is the one in sphagnum moss. I mean, it's not really surprising. Like, um, sphagnum moss is great. What's funny is that it's not even like the greatest of the greatest sphagnum moss. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just the cheap ones that I found on on Amazon or what, PetSmart, Petco. I think it was actually like reptile sphagnum moss or like reptile habitat. Um, that's the one that I got. So yeah, but it's, it's super thriving. It's actually doing pretty good. So I think this is good. Like I said, this one, I'm actually just going to, all of these, I'm just gonna do water propagation. I need to add more water. Let me grab it from my, yeah, I'm gonna grab it from my actual drinking water. I'm just gonna, boop. So with propagation or propagating, you want to remember that you don't want to, you don't want to completely drown the plant in water. You just want to put a little bit where the water is just kind of touching, but not really submerging the plant, if that makes sense. One plant down, three more to go. Uh, four types of propagation that I've been using. So I'm gonna rate the four types of um, propagation method. So we have water, um, we have LECA, we have soil and sphagnum moss. For me personally, I want to say my number one is obviously water. Also, this is a new leaf. So pretty. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's, it's a new leaf, <laughs> but I need to check my soil for this big pot because it hasn't really been giving me big leaves and I have like yellowing and like crispiness on the edges so I don't know what is up but anyways um my favorite obviously going from number one is the water <laughs> water propagation is my favorite and then second I want to say is the sphagnum moss and then third it's actually soil and fourth is LECA I do have some plants that I did propagate in LECA 
and it came out good. It didn't come out as bad as I thought, but I still think that it's not the, it's not the greatest method. Do you know what I mean? Like I do think water and sphagnum moss is truly the best method. We have my Monstera in water. Let's, this is my first time propagating this, period. Like I've never propagated Monstera before. And personally right now, I am a little bit worried and slightly on edge, but we'll be okay. We'll be fine. All right, let me clean my shears. Like I said, you always want to clean it before you start with a new plant. I just use, um, rubbing alcohol um, to disinfect it. I have rooting powder everywhere. <laughs> if I, this is like a growth hormone, right? If I take this, will I grow? No, don't listen to me. First of all, sometimes the things that come out of my mouth is just like stupidity. So <laughs> don't listen to that and do not, do not follow anything I say. <laughs> All right, next one, let's work on the Marble Queen. Again, with this plant, I only have these two branch, but I do have like other ones. I just feel like it's not really growing that much. This one is thriving like crazy. Like look at just the color, you know? She's gonna be bald after this. I'm going to just snip, 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 snip. I will say though that Oh, that is satisfying, kind of scary. And I also think that this might actually need to be repotted soon because yeah, I can see the roots down here. Oh boy. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. No, this, is, this needs repotting soon. I'm actually going to move this to Leca. Uh, I might do that for the next video, but yeah, this one, I noticed that I have to water this every week now because it's just been eating it's just been eating up the water um where should i put this one i might put that one here depends <laughs> if i do need another thing of um plastic cup then i will um i will name it but as of right now i think we're good i see kind of like a little root so i'm actually gonna cut that yeah i would need a, another cup that's a like a little auxiliary but for root to grow well, i just noticed i never finish with the reasons why you want to do this shoot first reason is because you want to promote growth second reason is so you can make them fuller like this guy over here I did stop at second reason. <laughs> and the third one, I don't know, so you can have more plans. I'm actually gonna be giving a bunch of these to my sister. I have a string of hearts that currently propagating. Um, I took it from my big string of heart um, plant. Well, it's not super big. It's big enough, but it's not super big. But I'm gonna, I'm making cuttings, or I made cuttings of those and I'm just waiting for it to root. So I can put it in a pot and then I can give it to my sister for her new house. So I'm going to like essentially fill her house with a bunch of plants. <sighs> I'm so happy. I love doing that. I'm going to put everything that I use for today's video down in the description below. So like the rooting hormone, the little plastic cup. Um, yeah, everything, everything, everything. That way it's easier for you guys to find stuff. And I'll even put this on the link. Um, I actually got this from Ikea. Um, Julio found it and he was like, look, babes. Because the one that I have is like literally so huge. It's like a wire cutter. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I have tiny hands. Can't hold them. So yeah, when we went to Ikea, he saw this and he was like, look, babes. This is perfect for your itty bitty hands. And I'm like, yeah, boy. I should have probably put this in that. Huh. Meh, it's okay, it's fine. It's okay, we are okay. But yeah, this one, you can tell that the leaves are kind of droopy and just looking a little bit sad. 
But like I said, I literally just watered this last week. Just didn't realize that, you know, I need to repot this again because I just repot this last year, last summer. So what are your favorite propagation method? Tell me down in the comment section below. And what is your favorite rooting hormone? Because like I said, this is my first time actually using a rooting powder, rooting hormone. I just kind of go with whatever I see, like whatever I see a lot of people use on YouTube. And yeah, I decided to, to get it. I actually had this rooting hormone in my cart forever. Who, do, who else do that? Like where you just put something that you want to buy or you think you need to buy, but you just leave it in the cart for months and months. <laughs> As a matter of fact, right now, I have like several things in my cart that I need to purchase, but I just, I just haven't. Your girl's broke, you know? So this one have like, I'm gonna cut that a little bit more. This one have like two, three, Oh, that's actually a node. Yeah. Should I cut that? Making it like that. It's just a baby though. I'm gonna do it. It's okay. We have a bunch anyway, so if this doesn't work, man, oops. We have the other ones. This method of putting the powder it's a little bit more messy as opposed to like you like if I can just dunk this inside the bottle you know and I'm not gonna lie I don't like that I don't like that it's like all over the side of the cap it's gonna bother me so much it's gonna be like eh disgusting messy I saw someone else they tie the bottom like with a rubber band I don't know that's kind of that scares me to think that I'm gonna tie it with rubber band thinking that uh it's gonna break it you know but I don't know maybe it works but I don't want to try it not right now <laughs> not right now I'll try it but some other day <laughs> oh man this is gonna be a lot it's like a bouquet if I mess this up and ended up killing this I'll be so upset like extremely upset I do have to say that the water propagation is my favorite because you get to watch the roots grow that's like so satisfying to watch you know so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video <sighs> also i'm kind of a dum dumb i forgot to press the record i forgot to press the record button when i was doing my golden photos but honestly you're not missing much it was just me doing like a small cutting of the golden photos and here she is now the cutting and <laughs> Uh, this is so hard why is this so hard because usually like I have Julia to help me but I'm filming this during the day and I'm on my sale but it's okay we'll be okay anyways so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below or like I said if you have a different rooting hormone um, product that you use let me know in the comment section below I might check it out because I I don't know if there's anything better than this and I'm pretty sure there are better products out there this is my first time using a rooting hormone and I'm a little bit nervous about this I'm pretty sure it'll be okay um, also let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite propagation method like I said mine number one would be water propagation and then for my second one it was back in the moss what's your top two if you like this video 
don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification icon so you get notified of my new video. Don't forget to hydrate and be kind to yourself and I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!